Hey, Tiny T Prepper here, and just want to kind of show you what I'm working on down here. I showed some pictures of it once before, but uh, just kind of want to show how quick nature can take it, take back when you think you have things under control. It's been a little bit since we've been up here, and I wanted to show you what I got mowed here. This is what I've mowed. I've had to go over this three or four times with the mower because it just really got tall. It's kind of a, I don't know what kind of grass it is, but it's real tall grass and grows really quick. Uh, more so than the grass that they use for the hay. I guess this makes hay also, but it's a little bit faster growing maybe. I'm not sure just what it is exactly. But uh, I'll have to find out on that. But anyway, it grows quick. so And real thick in here. And you can see where I mowed and where I haven't mowed. And just how tall it is compared to the riding lawnmower there. So it's every bit as tall as what that mower is. And so when it's a little bit tall, you can see there's still some stuff that... A little bit too tall that the mower don't get that has it mowed down so but it's got it pretty well back uh, that'll come a couple more mowings and i'll be back to like the yard is up there uh got a little bench down here this is something we're fixing up just kind of a or we have a campfire type thing here eventually and and we cleared out a lot of this underbrush down through here and like i say it doesn't take long uh, the spring and summer here were pretty wet and had a lot of rain and so we got quite a bit of undergrowth growth back here. We'd had a nice path and down here through the woods and kind of show you here a little bit what the rain did. We had just a little small creek that went down here and it's washed it out quite a bit down here. That was quite a bit deeper than what it used to be. And so I'm coming down here for a couple reasons. There's a little squash or gourd or melon or something that's growing was growing all over down here. I don't see quite so many vines. It was real thick right along in here. But you can see up there where it kind of drops off right in that area. It drops down about three, four foot and there's a hole there. And this was all right up to here where I'm standing. It was not very deep. It was about six inches. And that is all washed out down through there. So someday I'd like to put a dam across the bottom down here where our property ends just down past those rocks and make a little lake or pond or something down here but I got a lot of cleaning out or brush and stuff I don't want to clean too much out because then it'll wash away so I got to keep some of that root structure in here or it'll be looking like this down here all the way across but get a pond in there that'll stop a lot of the running water and stuff but let's see if I find some of those squash gourds or whatever they are and get a little bit closer look at Looks like the vines have kind of died back here. Maybe I can locate them over on the other side here, but I'll come back once I find those. I saw some up over on the other side. Get over there and we'll take a look and see if we can figure out what those are. Okay, come back here again. And, and you see these little yellow fruit here? That is what I'm talking about. There's that one that's kind of ate up a little bit. You can see these vines here. They look like a squash or a gourd or or melon or some type of vine here. You can see what green ones on the vine. The vines are starting to die back a little bit. Pick them at different stages here. These were all just really flourishing last time I was up here. So you can tell they must not last too long, a couple weeks maybe. These are stripes here. Pick a couple of those. I got some yellow ones. The other one's back over here. Must be a little bit riper. I don't know if they almost like these or they're not. It don't seem like there's near as many as it. Let's see the last time I was down. Alright. So I don't know if anybody knows what those are. If you do, here around Texas along the creeks and stuff. Take a look. I don't know. Tell from the vines here. They look just like a watermelon vine or, or a cantaloupe or something like that. Not sure. And that's the kind of fruit that got off of it. Some 
some more. But they're just all lower through the underbrush here. Well, next to the creek. Alright. Anyway, kind of want to check this out and see if anybody knew what these were. If you do, uh, please comment and let us know. Anyway, Tiny C Prepper signing out. Y'all have a good day.